In Activity 10, Land Predators, students are introduced to ladybugs. They examine the anatomy and observe the behavior of ladybugs, and then observe that the aphid population is reduced by a predator, the ladybug. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 10, Magnifiers, Pipe Cleaners, Container of Ladybugs, 10-ounce containers, lids with holes for 10-ounce containers, paper towels, masking tape, and ladybug transparency. You will also need to provide felt tip markers, foam cups with beans and aphids from Activity 6, scissors, and tap water. To prepare for Session 1, make a copy of Activity Sheet 10 for each student. Cut or tear paper towels into quarters, one piece for each team. For each team, use a pipe cleaner to put two ladybugs into each of two containers and place a lid on each to prevent the ladybugs escape. Each team of four will need four pipe cleaners, a pair of scissors, two pieces of masking tape, a marker, a piece of paper towel, and their foam cup with bean plants and aphids. To begin session one, give each student a copy of activity sheet 10, distribute two containers with ladybugs, and two magnifiers to each team of four. Explain that ladybugs are beetles that eat other small insects. Allow students time to examine the ladybugs and write a description of them on their activity sheets. Then show the ladybug graphic and point out the various parts of the body of the insect. Help students identify the head, antenna, legs, wings, and wing covers on their living ladybugs and label the illustration on their activity sheets. Ask students, how are the ladybugs similar to the other animals you have studied? How are they different? Students may say that ladybugs have six legs and three body parts, like the ants, aphids, and fruit flies. They live on land like the ants, aphids, and fruit flies, not in water like Daphnia and brine shrimp, and they are different in color and shape from all the other animals. Next, inform students that ladybugs are often found on the plants in gardens and then ask, what do you think they might eat? Students are likely to suggest that the ladybugs eat either the plants or the other insects in the garden. Then ask, how can we find out whether ladybugs eat plants or insects? Lead students to conclude that one way to find out is to place ladybugs in containers with plants and with insects and observe what happens. Divide the teams of four into teams of two and distribute the materials. Instruct teams to label their ladybug container with their names and today's date. Have them wet the paper towel, fold it, and place it in the ladybug container. Then, instruct students to cut two leaves from the bean plant and place them inside the container on the wet paper towel. Have them use the pipe cleaners to transfer 10 aphids from the bean plant onto the bean leaves in the container and replace the lid. Tell students record in the population chart on their activity sheets the observation day, zero, today's date, and the number of aphids and ladybugs in their team's container. Allow time for students to observe the behavior of the ladybugs in the container. Next, ask students to predict whether the ladybugs will eat the bean leaves or the aphids and have them circle their choice on their activity sheets. Finally, return the foam cups containing bean plants and aphids to their place in the classroom and place the containers with the ladybugs and the aphids in a place out of direct sunlight and away from any heat source. Collect the materials and return them to the kit. To conclude session one, every day for three days, have students examine the containers. Count the number of aphids in each and look for any signs that the ladybugs have been eating the leaves. Make sure students record this information in the population chart on the activity sheet. To begin session two, distribute a magnifier and their containers with aphids and ladybugs to each team of two and let them observe and record their observations on their activity sheets. Ask students, what do you think the ladybugs are eating? What do you see that makes you think so? Since there are fewer aphids left in the containers, students should realize that the ladybugs are eating the aphids. Next, explain that a predator is an animal that eats another animal 
and the prey is the animal that is eaten. Ask students, which is the predator in your container, the ladybug or the aphid? Which is the prey? They should understand that the ladybug is the predator and the aphid is the prey. Finally, ask students, how does a predator change the population of its prey? Students should understand that prey population decreases when a predator is present. Allow students time to complete their activity sheets. To conclude session two, collect the magnifiers and return them to the kit. Replace the ladybugs in their shipping container for use in further experiments if desired. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.